Hi, I'm Crystal McWigan, and I'm a forensic serologist. And the duties of a forensic serologist would be to compare hair, bones, fingernail scrapings, fecal tissue, and body fluids such as urine, feces, blood, semen, and vaginal secretions. Blood and semen are the most common body fluids seen in today's crime lab. There are different types of semen evidence, and the most common evidence would be semen stains. And semen stains are most commonly found on bed sheets, panties, and clothing. There's also a detection of semen stains, which we perform two tests. One of the two tests would be the Walker test, and the Walker test would turn a purplish color in the presence of semen. The second test would be the thymothaline test, which would turn blue in the presence of semen. The only downfall to this would be the 48-hour post-intercourse detection window. Of course, there would be false positives that would occur, and the reasons might be would be fecal matter, vaginal secretion, plants of the genus Brachius, some, vag some fungi, and some bacteria. There is also a semen sperm cell staining, which would be the most common test would be the Christmas tree stain, which would mean the vaginal epithelial cell stain green with red nuclei in the presence of sperm.